Shifting our focus, Kaveri water war continues to simmer. Today, farmer unions are protesting in front of the KRS dam against the Kaveri board's decision. In fact, the Kaveri Water Management Board recommended that Karnataka should release 5,000 cusacks of water every day for the next 15 days to Tamil Nadu. During the roundtable talks, the Kaveri water body emphasized that lack of rainfall cannot be a reason to release a less amount of water. Farmers and the pro-Canada organizations also held a meeting over the issue. Meanwhile, the Kaveri Water Management Authority will convene a meet in the national capital today, where Karnataka is likely to oppose the water release order. Well, uh, at this point in time, the protests have begun outside the KRS dam. You can see, uh, uh, you know, the uh, farmers who are tying a black cloth to their, uh, uh, you know, eyes. And they're saying that uh, right now the Congress government seems to be blind to the problems of the farmers here in Mandya. They're saying that it seems that some sort of a friendship uh, with uh, the Tamil Nadu uh, government, with the chief ministers, you know, leading to these sort of decisions that are being taken. They're saying objection should have been uh, filed by uh, the Congress uh, uh, government here in Karnataka. The, the Karnataka government of, or the release of water in the beginning itself, uh, then a situation like this would not have arisen. This is a silent protest that they're staging in front of the KRS dam. I'm going to ask my video journalist to show you the gate of the KRS dam uh, right behind me and the waters, of course, uh, uh, that is adjacent to it. Uh, now, the police, of course, have been deployed here here because there's a protest that has been uh, uh, scheduled at this particular location in front of the KRS dam. Also another protest by farmer groups uh, in Mandya as well. Now, the water war has triggered a political war of words as well. While Congress maintain that they are fighting for their farmers' rights, DMK maintain that Kaveri cannot be seen as a river of a state, but that it belongs to the nation. So our claim is based on the agreement between the two states. Any the, 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 the international law warrants that lower riparian areas should not be penalized because the river river water sharing has led to many wars in the world earlier now there is an understanding that lower riparian river state should area should not be penalized so based on that they should share water with us it is a, maybe kaveri starts from karnataka but that doesn't mean that Kaveri should end with Karnataka. Kaveri is not their river. Kaveri is the river of the nation. We do not have water, and it's the order which we can, for us for very difficult to implement. And uh, so we have taken the legal route. We have now going to uh, raise it before the Kaveri Water Management Authority. So once, uh, uh, and we're going to convince them to assess the water availability in Karnataka and water availability in uh, Tamil Nadu and uh, uh, come out with a distress formula which is long uh, pending based on scientific and practical approach, reality and uh, decide uh, with all involving all experts come up with a distress formula. Shifting our focus.